Uh, I am very happy to be back in Montreal after 11 years. Um, uh, um, thank um, um, Casa del Popolo de Sala Rosa and uh, Mardi Spaghetti uh, for getting me here. And it's the last uh, performance of a, a little more than one week tour of Eastern Canada. And um, I'd like to begin with a, relative, a, a new uh, text entitled Five Encrypted Proposals. <laughs> Be Uh, I, uh, I 
just today I thought um, actually this is uh, also an encoded poem uh, um, but it's very old it is uh, uh, from 1905 and it's called uh, Fish is Nachtgesang or Night Song of the Fish, Chant Nocturne du Poisson, uh, by Christian Morgenstern, and I will uh, try to read it for you. language but has no meaning and it's called Onderlands or language of the uh, Underlands as a parallel to Netherlands and I'll read a few uh, poems in that language. So it has no meaning so you don't have to worry that you miss anything, uh, there is no meaning. <laughs> Sif so, kema, hoef maar irf, 
بلوم كبلوم كلوم مين حمد من دور زوزيف زو ما إلف كخف بخف كمعسو بين حمد من دور زوزيف زو ما إلف كخف بخف كمعسو Oh, 
Le ministre regrette la parole. The minister finds such utterances inappropriate. Le ministre regrette la parole. 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 Le ministre regrette tout le parole. Le ministre regrette tout le parole. Le ministre regrette tout le parole. into the history of song poetry here. Um, I have this uh, poem by Hugo Ball, uh, one of the six song poems that he wrote in 1916 and presented uh, in, at the Cabaret Voltaire in Zurich, Switzerland, uh, at the beginning of the Dada movement. And uh, this was also a strong protest against the, the madness of the First World War. It was in the middle of that war. and. Um, Hugo Ball had experienced it himself and as an army doctor and in the trenches in Flanders in 1915. And he wrote this poem called um, Totenklage, or uh, Lament for the Dead, a Dirge.
sonata or symphony and four movements, a first movement and uh, then a largo, a scherzo and a, a presto. I, um, <coughs> I started performing this in the early 1980s and, and I remember some performances opening for punk rock bands where people didn't like it at all. And they, <laughs> they wanted to hear their favorite band or chat with their friends and have a beer. And, and then decided to throw the beer at me. <laughs> but I love the piece very much. I think it's a masterpiece. I have to defend it and I always I recited it towards the end. Now it happened that um, at some point um, uh, recordings and, and also performance of, the, uh, of this work were prohibited, uh, were banned by, by the son of Kurtzvitz, who didn't want anybody to mess with the work with his father, of his father. And so, but I, I, I came with a, a nice idea um, uh, to get around that, I would take the scherzo, the third movement of the Ursonata, and um, um, perform it uh, from the beginning until halfway, and then backwards to the beginning. So I would, so to say, have taken my words back and not uh, recited the poem at all, not uh, have uh, violated any copyright. And at the same time, it shows that good sound poetry, when you read it backwards, can still be pretty good sound poetry. So here goes my version of the schedule. Lang te gul, pe 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 pe, oka 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 oka. Lang te gul, pi 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 pi, zirka 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 zirka. Lang te gul, rum rum. Lang te gul, zirun zirun, lump lump zirun. Lang te gul, pe 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 pe, oka 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 oka. Lang te gul, pi 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 pi, zirka 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 zirka. Lang te gul, rum rum. Lang te gul, zio io zio. Ow, chiu, iu, chiu, ah, chiu, iu, chiu, ow, ua, uis, ui, uis, ah, uis, ui, uis, ua, uis, ui, uis. Hey, kratiknal, vr, vr, kratiknal. Aku cikus, 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 ip, 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 ip. Hey, kratiknal. Aku, 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 ep, 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 ep. Hey, kratiknal. Rrrt, 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 nervis, kratiknal. Rrrt, frit, mur, kratiknal. Rrrt, mut, mul, rrrt, nervis, uit. Hul kratiknal, vr, vr, kratiknal. Aku cikus, 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 ip, 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 ip. Hul kratiknal. Aku, 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 ep, 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 ep. Thank you. I have now um, a piece um, that was inspired by uh, a journey to Indonesia, where you can hear the standard expression "jam karet." That means uh, the the hour or time is made of rubber and you can stretch it as much as you want when you need it. A good excuse, for instance, when the bus is late or in similar situations. And I had the idea of making a musicaret, a music made of rubber, um, by 
taking the names of some of the uh, instruments of the gamelan of Java and uh, stretching them. And some instruments have long notes, for instance, the suling, that's the flute, uh, that you will hear, I can make long notes, and also the rabab, that's just a string instrument with one string that makes a sort of a scraping sound. And the others are all, all uh, percussion instruments, so they cannot make long sounds, they can only repeat their sounds. But, um, so that, that's how it works, and I will now perform musica rap. <clears throat> Jinjer, pane embung, pane embung, pane embung, pane embung. 
Thank you very much. Uh, I want to perform one more piece. Uh, 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 I still have a, uh, at the desk there a few CDs left uh, from it's the last night of my tour. And almost everything has been sold, but if you can, still can find something that you might want to buy, you can also pay with a card. <laughs> so, uh, the last piece is um, homage to Antonin Artaud, the French um, surrealist poet and uh, theater pioneer who was a great stimulation and inspiration for me from the beginning and uh, he, uh, he has many of these uh, fragments of phonetic poetry sounding French but with no meaning interspersed in his uh, French writings and uh, it said that he was in the many years that he was put away in mental health institutions he used to recite these for hours on end accompanying himself on little drums and that's an inspire inspiration for for this piece uh, uh, called well it's, it's actually in two parts there's first a 60 second electroacoustic piece that i composed uh, in 2008 60 years after his death and then the rest is uh, voice and it's entitled Homage à à à. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 